All right, guys. This is the last Heaven benchmark I'm going to do. This one has got sentimental value because I did own the 670 for the win editions, and this is exactly the setup I ran to beat the 690 at the time, which was about a year ago. Getting close to a year. So let's do it. This is the fun one. Direct X11. The difference here is I was doing them all on Ultra. I did that back in the day in high quality. Extreme tessellation, disabled, stereo, multi-monitor, disabled. 8 times anti aliasing 1920 by 1080. This is the exact same test. So now we're going to know, for my sake, and for you guys, I'll let you know, can the Titan be two 670s and SLI two-way? It's going to be fun to see. Let it load, let's bench it, and let's talk some numbers. That's how I see this one. And let it begin. All right, we're starting. Wow, amazing the difference. 1920 by 1080, just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Looks good to you see 2560 by 1600. So looking forward to those numbers at the end to see the comparison. Especially for you guys with 670s out there, which I had, I love them. I think the cards are absolutely awesome. This cards rock. Best value out there. So at the time I did it, the, the 670s I had did beat the 690 score. Don't forget, I didn't have it on Ultra. This is on high quality, which is one step from the Ultimate, but I'll still show you what these cards can do. So far, it's very interesting because I'm looking at the scores of my 670 back in the day. It's a good way to test your cards, guys. You know, there's a good program. First thing, it's free. You can't beat that to use it. For, for the basic features, which is all you really need is what we're doing right now. Hats off to them to let you have something like this, because, I mean, it's awesome looking. Little's Rocks, you're getting full depth, full tessellation. You're just getting everything going on. I don't want to jinx anything right now, but it's kind of funny. I'm seeing one number that's already attracting my eye at the Titan versus 670s and two-way sly, but I'm so anxious to get to the end, it's gross. Guys, yo, you can look all the benchmarks you want online and the gaming benchmarks. For some reason, all the benchmarks I ever see on all these sites, you know, I don't know, I'm not saying, they, listen, they got, they got a million cards they run through and do testing, but all I know is that to me, my frames per second that I get at home, I usually beat those benchmarks. So I'll use it. Of course, it's important to judge. It gives you a very good idea what you're going to get. But until I get the card home and I start utilizing it and drive is mature and, I don't know, I'm just comfortable in my own setup. Then I see what the cards can do. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Titan is impressive. Especially, it's, it's the kind of card that's very underclocked. And it runs extremely cool. Guys, look again. Temperature is 69 Celsius. My third test in a row with this thing. All right. And just to let you know, it's just, um, it's, it's, it's an animal. It's got, it's got tremendous, tremendous uh, ability. And I think it just needs to mature its drivers. And we'll find, uh, we'll, start, we'll see what this card's really going to do. Because this is a second beta drive, and that's it. And it runs so stable already. This is very interesting right now. I have a lot more uh, overclocking to do on this card to, uh, to find out what they're really going to do. But I'm pushing it a little bit right now. Right now I have it up about 100 megahertz over stock and 100 megahertz on the memory. 
overclocked right now, and it's still got tremendous headroom, but I just got it. I'm still, <laughs> if I'm going to keep it, I don't want to kill it type of thing. Interesting. Certain things are interesting already to me. Very interesting. All right. Let's review somebody here. Okay, we definitely did not beat the 670s, but let's review it. Frames per second was 64.2. Score, 16, 18. What do we got here? Minimum, 24.5. Max was 140.1, okay? Now that is on, qual everything's max except quality is high. All right, let's, let's review something here. This is interesting. The Titan minimum is higher than the GTX 670s was. The minimum on the 670s the, for the win editions were 23.9 frames. The Titan was 24.5. So right there, two cards minimum was lower than one card Titan. That's impressive. All right. Um, Score-wise, the total score for the 670s when I did it was 21.95. As you see, the Titan is 16.18. Okay. Maximum for the 670s was 188 maximum frames per second score, where this was 140.1. Um... As you see, total score was 1618 to 2195. So it's a it, it's definitely slower uh, for this type of thing. But again, too, I, um, I still think it's quite impressive that the minimum on this card is better than the two 670s. So, you know, take it for a grain of salt. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the final scores.